How many of you have ever seen something catch on fire? Something maybe, maybe a building, maybe just, just anything, maybe even a piece of paper. And once you watch the fire, the fire kind of grows and grows, and it kind of the smoke kind of spreads out, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. Well, my quote was, "There is no fire without smoke." And this quote kind of relates to many topics in life that we go through every day. Um, the first topic I'd like to speak about would be, let's say you start something with someone, like maybe you do something behind someone's back or such. Usually, that the consequences of that will kind of grow and grow and grow. You maybe you'll lose a friendship over it, and it's just like fire. You're well, I guess you could look at it this way. You're setting them on fire, and the smoke's just going to grow, and people are going to see that, and that's just going to come back to haunt you in the end. And then it's kind of like in school as well. In school, if you don't do your work, you're going to you're gonna fail, basically. It's just going to keep adding and adding and adding more. Just like the smoke, it's going to keep rising, it's going to keep spreading, and it's just going to keep hurting you more and more. And then last... Like I said, it's, um, oh no, lying, it's just like lying as well. Lying. If you lie to someone, let's say your parents, people aren't going to trust you as well. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna look at you as a person that doesn't have a lot of integrity. And if you lie, like, let's say you lie to a friend in school, that's going to spread out, and people are going to start noticing that, and they're not going to believe the things you say. So it's just like fire. You're going to light something on fire, smoke's going to spread. And it's just like, the moral of this comes just is like how Smokey the Bear always said, you can prevent forest fires. Right, Chris, I thought that your speech got stronger in the last half than in the first. I thought the rhetorical question, the survey that you started with, were a little bit odd. And then you've got a good visualization, but uh, you don't really have a very clear thesis statement. At the end, I think it's a, a little bit clearer what the point you're trying to make. Uh, there's no setup of the structure as you go into the speech. So, uh, you know, we're going to be wandering around. Hopefully, you're going to be clear as we're following through. I thought that you did actually do a pretty good job signposting the points that you had. Your first point was a little bit vague in terms of the examples, um, uh, better on the second point. On presentation, it was easy to hear you for the most part. There's good variety within the range that you have. Uh, I thought it was paced very effectively. Uh, your gestures, you are, you're using good indicators and descriptive gestures, so you're involved in a lot of ways kinesically with the presentation. Uh, your facial expressions do the same thing. They reflect the ideas or the emotions that you're talking about, and that's exactly what you want to have. Your eye contact with the audience was solid. You do have that piece of paper in your hand that's a little distracting. If you got that out of your hand, I think you'd be better off. Um, no big problems with anxiety issues. And at the end, like I said, I thought you had a clearer way of connecting these ideas than you had at the beginning of the speech, and you found a pretty good exit. All right, thank you.